Richard Eyre's adaptation of William Shakespeare's King Lear. King Lear is a tragedy written by William Shakespeare in 1605. It is a story about a king who decides to bequeath his lands to his three daughters, Goneril, Regan, and Cordelia, according to how much love they express towards him. Directed by Richard Eyre. And released in 2018, King Lear is one of the most masterful adaptations of Shakespeare. A true testimony of how the original text can be interpreted and developed with so much intensity and broad spectrum. The opening scenes. Show Lear as an extremely confident king, in charge of the situation, with everyone's attention on him. He has the upper hand with all the power and land he owns. Unlike his two older daughters, who smothers their affections on him, his favorite and youngest, Cordelia, refuses to flatter him and speaks plainly. That she loves him as a daughter would love her father. Leah cannot see through her honesty, and leaves her with nothing. After the succession, King Leah was planning to enjoy the rest of his life in comfort, respected, taken care of, and most importantly, loved. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. His two older daughters turn their backs on him, and Leah soon finds himself all alone in the wilderness. It is now Leah who has nothing. A broken man with so much agony. Leah becomes homeless. And represents the rising minorities in our society: the elderly, the retired, the unwelcomed class, thrown out by his own family against his wishes. Anthony Hopkins brilliantly reenacts a tragic hero, a lost soul, trying desperately to overcome his unbelievable reality. But in the end, he goes mad. Once a formidable king of a formidable kingdom, most powerful in all aspects, pompous and overly confident, who made a magnificent entry into the world, Lear now faced the most shabby and tragic exit. What could have been a highly dense and even a tedious story. Has become much more approachable by Richard Eyre's smart direction and Anthony Hopkins's excellent performance. This adaptation has successfully cut back the original text without losing the overall intention of Shakespeare's flow and style. With all the jealousies and conspiracies. And with almost everybody dead, Edgar, a man of good intentions, give us these last words to think about: that we should speak what we feel, and not what we ought to say. The next adaptation of Shakespeare's *King Lear* will be performed by Al Pacino. Expect it to be released. In 2019, another deserving comparison to be continued.